Good day everyone, Complaining Gamer here. Today we're going to look at potential solutions for your problems with the new performance mode made by Zalfanos. The performance solution is simply a text file which is editing the game memory through the magic of Simuhook. I will show you how to edit the text shortly but first viewer patience is advised as I will need to be very detail specific. By now you've all had a chance to play with the Zalfanos performance pack and as expected given the sheer size of the community new issues have arisen. Some are user errors and some fall on the performance pack. Unfortunately it hasn't been a flawless experience for all so let's see if I can help you. Before we look into specific issues, if you haven't already watched my installation guide for Zalfanos' FPS++, I suggest you do so, link in the description below. The first key step is to make sure you have all of the prerequisites so the pack can work as intended. They are Simu version 1.9.0 or 1.9.1, Simu hook version 0.5.3.2, and Breath of the Wild version 1.3.0 or 1.3.1. .1. To find your Simu version, simply open the program and look at the title bar at the top left corner. At the same time, the bottom left corner will show you your Simu hook version. Next, make sure that the downloaded performance graphic pack is not accidentally in another folder and is clearly seen in the folder destination. Finally, your Breath of the Wild version can be found in the bottom right corner of the title screen after you have loaded the game. Remember, it should say either 1.3.0 or 1.3.1. .1. The DLC is not important. If your game requires updating, I'll provide a link to Take a Byte's tutorial on Simu game updates. It is crucial that you do not overwrite core game files all updates and DLC should be installed using the correct path within the Simu folder directory. Remember, when downloading Breath of the Wild updates, version 97 equals update 1.3.0 and version 112 equals update 1.3.1, just to avoid any confusion. If you have made a mistake with any of these steps in the past, then you should start again with fresh files. The memory addresses used for the performance pack are very specific, so user error can lead to issues not relating to the pack. A final disclaimer is that the performance solution will not make a low spec system suddenly an FPS monster, but it should stabilize your experience in terms of game speed. As a reference point, this is how my CMU folder looks and so should yours. If you've done all of the aforementioned steps correctly, then let's move on to potential fixes. It should be noted that I cannot recreate most of the issues listed as I do not suffer from them. The following recommendations have come from my community research. I cannot promise to fix your issues, but let's give it a go. Let's start with the known issues admitted on release, then move on to the community complaints followed by possible solutions. Zalfanos stated that the known issues are stamina replenishing too fast, texture loading errors, jumpy animations especially when paragliding, momentary freezing which recovers quickly, and sleeping followed by long loading times. Now on to issues reported by the community. Link stutters or vibrates, certain game mechanics working incorrectly, sound and animation errors, frozen AI, game crashing during or after shader compilation, FPS counter locking, milky water, and the performance pack does nothing at all. Assuming everything has been installed perfectly, let's look at possible solutions. Starting with general overall recommendations. Make sure the performance pack shows as active when in-game by checking options and graphic packs. Breath of the Wild FPS++ should have a tick in the active column. If you're using any frame limiting software, turn it off. For example, River Tuner, as well as speed hacks such as Cheat Engine. If you've made changes to the Nvidia control panel for Simu, reset them to default. 
Try both Simu versions 1.9.0 and 1.9.1. Run Simu as administrator. Set GPU buffer accuracy to low in the Simu options. Test performance in both full screen and windowed mode to see if there's any difference. As a consideration, some users claim that Breath of the Wild update 1.3.1, also known as version 1.1.2, was better for them. Personally, I do not use VSync in the Simu options, so try turning that off. Open the pack folder. You'll see two files. The rules file is for game region version and graphic pack title only. Open the patches file. Don't worry about the wall of text as the changes we will make are very simple. Take note that this file is for Breath of the Wild game versions 1.3.1 and 1.3.0. Each section can be identified as version 1.1.2 and version 97. If the performance pack is not performing as advertised, try this first. The most common fix is changing the edit me line value to float 2 from its default of 3. Feel free to edit this value for both game versions. Some users have changed this value to 1.5 and 1.2. I've also seen some users change this to 4 or 5, but firstly try 2. Remember the default value is 3. When you make a text change remember to click save. If the default value of 3 and the suggested value of 2 don't help, try experimenting with other values. Now save and test your game. The next potential improvement involves the experimental lines found below. You can test these to see if your experience gets better. Simply delete the semicolons across all four lines and click save. There are reports that this edit benefits AMD GPU users more so than Nvidia. Click save and test your game. Any edit which does not benefit you, change it back to its default value. If you accidentally get yourself into a mess, simply re-download the performance pack. Next, the milky water issue. This is potentially related to the pack automatically turning on fence skip. This next edit will make it so that fence skip is activated manually in the usual way through the Simu menu. In the text file, go down to the line which says break all forms of frame limiting and simply add a semicolon to the beginning of the first number. Save and test your game. Under normal circumstances, this will also limit your max FPS to 30 with fence skip manually off. Alternatively, turn it on for more FPS based on your hardware. You can also hold Ctrl plus Alt plus F to turn on fence skip quickly. As a final point regarding fence skip, if you have it set to auto in your game profile, disable GPU fence equals true, set it to false or simply delete that line altogether. If you don't know about auto fence skip, ignore this point. An additional stutter theory relates to GPU usage maxing out. In this case, try lowering your game resolution pack or not using one, keeping only the performance pack active. Earlier I said turn off frame limiting, however some users have reported that frame limiting to 36 or 32.5 as well as other values ended all stuttering. Remember, in all cases you will need an established shader cache, download link below. A slightly strange community suggestion is to try using screen recording software alongside the performance pack. In the Simu menu, it is worth checking that CPU options are set to Mode Recompiler and Timer Host Based. Also, you should always keep your GPU drivers up to date. I'll provide a link in the description to the Community Graphic Pack collection. Note: Some users have reported that the latest Nvidia driver 385.41 increased stutter. When it comes to abnormal AI behavior and objects freezing in the distance, a simple fix is in the Simu menu. Select Debug and activate GX2 Draw Done. This should also help with runes and camera issues. GX2 fixes GPU CPU sync but may have a negative performance hit for some users. 
If your game is crashing during or after shader compilation, the classic recommendation is deleting your Breath of the Wild pre-compiled shader cache file as well as your GL cache if on Nvidia. The GL cache location is on screen or can be found by searching your files for GL cache. By deleting these files, a fresh shader will compile which should stop any crashes during compilation. It will be slow and take some time. You should repeat this practice whenever you update your GPU drivers. If anyone is suffering from blood moons and crashes, remember we have the Ryko LWZX graphic pack as well, found within the Simuhook zip. I've done my absolute best to be thorough here, but please feel free to mention anything in the comments below about what I may have missed. This performance pack is only for Breath of the Wild. The reason being that each game has completely different memory addresses even between versions of the same game as seen here. To finish, let's add a few nuggets of info. Zalfanos explained on Reddit what the float edit me value does. He said, by default it's set to 10 FPS. Divide 30 by the number you want and put the result there. So 30 divided by 10 is 3. So that's what is there now. At least in theory, the higher the number, the more likely you will have slowdown, but possibly the less likely to encounter a physics related bug. I've mainly shown it to be editable for extreme low end systems. Realistically, with full speed, 10 FPS is no fun. Also, for those of you interested, on Reddit, Epigram detailed the specifics of the experimental lines in the pack. You can see them on screen right now. I sincerely hope I was able to help. If I wasn't, then that's unfortunate and your only options are to wait for Simu optimization or upgrade your hardware. So there you go people, I covered as much as I could. This project has taken considerable time and I know that I did not provide a solution to every problem. If you enjoyed the content, please feel free to leave a thumbs up. If you're interested in what I do and want to catch my next video, hit that subscribe button. As we move forward into the future and software progresses, some if not all of the information presented here today may become redundant. That includes version numbers and current performance. It should be noted that progress in this area of emulation is rapid right now and things are changing quickly. With each new version of Breath of the Wild, the performance pack will require updating as it will break compatibility. This responsibility will fall on Zalfanas or anyone who helps him. I've been the Complaining Gamer, this has been Troubleshooting and Fixes for Zalfanas' 60fps++ mode. Take care, have an awesome day and I will see you next time.